So how about Jalen Ramsey? He's really having an incredible season for the Los Angeles Rams, and he has kind of completed this uh, team, and he might be having a career year, which is really saying something, considering he's a former first-team All-Pro with Jacksonville. Uh, he's been incredible and maybe even th- belongs in the Defensive Player of the Year category, although really I think a cornerback kind of needs an outstanding year, almost a historic year to get it. Although, listen, uh, Gilmore won it last year, and in my opinion, he didn't have a historic year. He was just really good, so maybe Ramsey could also get it. Who knows? Let's talk about what Ramsey's doing so well. Let's start off with the game against Seattle. It kind of made headlines of him shutting down DK Metcalf. And hey, for DK Metcalf, uh, I think, you know, you got to feel pretty good about the fact that when you don't have a good day, uh, then everyone gives credit to the other player, kind of shows, you know, how good Metcalf has gotten. But also it shows how good Ramsey is still is with what he was able to do when you watched the tape. Take a look at this play. It's a cover three zone, and Metcalf's route is just a curl route that's going to get into a gap in coverage. So this is absolutely a good route against this type of coverage. As you see on paper, it gets into a gap, and there could, should be a throwing window for Russell Wilson to make this throw. Ramsey is the corner, so he's in, technically in charge of covering the top right corner of the screen, but in cover three, you you have a lot more freedom to change things up if you are that corner. Watch how once this ball is snapped, notice Ramsey's positioning here. Ramsey kind of reads this play and reads that uh, DK Metcalf is not cutting right now. He's just going to simply run a curl. Metcalf could also be running a go route, but either way, Ramsey simply just steps in front of him. This is kind of like in basketball when you, you know, take a charge. He's just putting himself right in front of Metcalf. So at this point, really, there's not a ton Metcalf can do. I mean, he's running a curl route, so he can just stop right in front of Ramsey. But if he does that, then Ramsey can easily just take a step forward and knock the ball away. So Ramsey's essentially taken this uh, play away. The only thing that maybe could be a downside would be if DK Metcalf was cutting, then Ramsey might not be in the best position. But at the same time, Ramsey trusts himself that he can make a break at least as quick as Metcalf can. Metcalf's going to basically just drive into Ramsey and push off. I mean, that's a penalty. It didn't get called because the ball didn't get thrown in that direction. If the ball was thrown in that direction, that would have been offensive pass interference. Uh, That's, you know, a clear push off there. So good job by Ramsey. And, you know, he's a physical corner and he's not afraid to take that kind of push off because he knows once he does that, He's essentially taking Metcalf out of the play. It's almost like getting Metcalf to run out of bounds at that point. Wilson is not going to throw the ball in that direction because Wilson knows it would be a penalty. And Ramsey doesn't have a ton of passes defense this year. He doesn't have a ton of interceptions this year. The reason for it is because guys just aren't throwing him the football. That's just what it comes down to. No one's even trying him, really. This plays a great example of showing what he can bring to the table. This is going to be a cover. It's a really a cover six concept, which is it's like a cover three. But you notice uh, if you look deep how sort of different some of these zones are where, you know, A lot of this is because there's three Seattle players on the top of the screen. So what you do is instead of having just everyone deep cover one third of the field, you kind of have two guys just cover a quarter of the field and then the player on the bottom of the screen is going to cover half of that field. Ramsey is covering the shallower part of the bottom of the screen. This is called the flat area. Uh, That's where he's in charge of covering. And so, you know, there's not a lot of help deep. And Seattle actually has a concept that could work out pretty well here, where they have a player running, you know, somewhat deep, but it's going to cut right before the safety who is deep. And again, that safety has a lot of room to cover here, so he can't just sell out to stop that play. And they also have a halfback running underneath. So, Really, the idea is that hopefully Ramsey stays deep, then you can just simply just hit the halfback underneath, and then he can pick up some yards, or maybe Ramsey stays underneath, but then no one's deep enough to hit the further route. Wilson's going to take the snap here. He looks up, and as you see, Ramsey, he starts off, uh, you know, covering further deep. That's DK Metcalf. Metcalf is open right here, and Ramsey knows he has to cover the halfback. So he's trying to, you know push off uh, Metcalf to another player. He's trying to give him to another player, basically hand it off like a baton. Uh, Metcalf is open, but Wilson just isn't looking in this direction because Metcalf wasn't open for so long, and Wilson's going to try and run instead. Wilson did have running room, and he was able to pick up a decent gain running the football, so certainly wasn't a bad play by any means. But if he hits Metcalf, that could have maybe been a touchdown. 
he just wasn't looking in that direction because he kind of just, you know, again, you sort of get used to not even looking in that direction sometimes. That's how good of a season Ramsey is having. This play was his interception, so it's going to be the same concept as the one I showed you earlier. But now for Ramsey, instead of covering uh, the flat on the left side of the screen, he's instead going to be covering deep and he's going to be covering it's going to be the quarterback's right. So the top of the screen, the top left-hand corner, that's where he's covering. Chicago has a concept designed to basically attack the zone Ramsey is covering. Uh, they're going to have a receiver run deep, another receiver run shallower underneath. The hope is that Ramsey gets too far deep. You can sort of throw it underneath. And, you know, you can really tell here why the cover six concept can be so effective because you have an extra guy in that area, uh, whereas if it was just straight up cover three, it would be a lot more difficult to, you know, know exactly when you can pass guys off to your teammates. Nick Foles takes the snap. He's going to look up. And as you see, Ramsey, at this point, he's taking away the deeper guy, which is kind of what you're supposed to do. But at this point, he knows he has to pass him off because he reads... Not only does he read it, there's a Chicago player in front of him, but I'm pretty sure he's looking at Nick Foles in this moment. It looks like he is. I could be wrong, but it appears as though he's looking at Nick Foles and still reading the quarterback's eyes this far down the field with this much going on in front of him. That's incredible. He makes such a perfect read on this. He leaps up and he ends up getting the interception. Again, that's just an incredible play. Uh, and I really do feel like he would make these occasionally in... Jacksonville, but he's making these types of plays consistently with LA, and that's what's so impressive. I'll show one more play. This one's another really interesting one. So it's going to be a cover three concept, and there's a receiver running over the middle. Ramsey is the one who I've circled in white. He's covering the bottom right hand corner. Again, that deep zone where, you know, you're quote unquote covering it, but you're not really covering it. You can move around. Uh, you ideally don't want to let anybody get. Uh, in that area, though, if you do decide to abandon that zone. Once the ball is snapped, Josh Allen looks to the other side of the field. And so at this point, the receiver that Ramsey is covering, he's going to kind of, honestly, uh, while he is a little bit open, there's uh, guys in front of him, so he's not open yet. He's going to honestly be a little bit lackadaisical in how he runs the rest of this route. He kind of is a bit lazy in this, to be honest. But Ramsey absolutely isn't. Watch how Ramsey closes the gap so there's no separation and then is able to make a quick play on the ball. Just a great play by Ramsey. I know there was separation at a certain point, but that's because he understood where he had help and he understands where he can lose to. He's okay with losing on a quick zone like that because he knows he can get back into the play and he knows he has great ball skills and can run over and knock the ball away. So Ramsey is really good at that kind of thing. I honestly think that's why we've seen Ramsey sort of uh, his numbers go down when he doesn't have as good of teammates around him because he really uses his teammates to his advantage. He really is smart at how he does that. And I think when Jacksonville was in their heyday, he looked really good because, again, he knew how to use uh, his good linebackers and good other secondary players to his advantage. And he's doing that here where he's using his really talented teammates to his advantage. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's really good. It's crazy. I think that the Rams have two defensive player of the year candidates right now with Aaron Donald, obviously. Of course, he's a defensive player of the year candidate. And I think Ramsey deserves to be in the conversation. I'm not saying he's there yet, but let's put him in the conversation. He's having a hell of a year. In my opinion, he's first team all pro for corner. And I don't, I don't think there's much question. That's just what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>